So in this session, uh, we are going to talk about the Andrew roadmap briefly and the community. We will make first some announcements. The first announcement that we will put also in the channel and we will share and we will put in the platform is that we are going to suppress, cancel the exercise about the Android settings web app. This one is not going to count on your final um, on your final score or grade, uh, because there, there some people are experiencing problems, some are not. We have checked the server; it doesn't. It, it looks okay, and we just feel it's a bit unfair because we cannot fix the problem for those that are not being able to do it. So we will investigate the problem, but for now, for this course, this this exercise is uh, cancelled. It will not count. So don't worry about submitting. We will probably remove it or block the submission. Uh, this is the slide where I had to remember to take the group photo. We have taken it already. Uh, we want to thank all of you for joining all these uh, days and for being super helpful and super active, some of you. So some of you have received uh, badges in the community. Some of you will receive them after uh, we finish the academy. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's still going on. Uh, but just want to thank you. We hope you you enjoyed the, the sessions and we hope you like having your budgets in the community. So now this session, I'm going to quickly talk about the Android release cycles and the roadmap, and it's going to be a bit interactive. I'm going to ask you for your priorities in terms of features. And then I will give you a reference information for about the community, how to engage and how to contribute. So first thing is that during 2022, there is not going to be any change on the release period. So we release together with web, uh, with backend DHIS2, which means that we will have one release in April next year and another one in October. And the important thing is that from 2.6, from the versions released in April next year, we will stop supporting Android 4.4 KitKat. We have been delaying this decision as much as we have been able to, but at this point is it's not compatible. The, the, the li some libraries that this version uses are not uh, supported anymore. Um, and, and we have to we have to discontinue the support. And we have been following also the percentage of devices that use the Android app and use and, and run on a 4.4 um, version of Android. Um, and it's slower each time, it's decreasing. There are still some, so this might have impact in some implementations, but we just cannot uh, continue doing that. All the patch versions of 2.5 will still uh, support, of course, 4.4. This is just a reminder of how our versioning works. So X, Y, Z, the X, now we are in 2.5, so 0. So the X is a significant change in the app, big changes in the UI or even adding new modules. The Y is, is our functional improvements, uh, a new version with a change in the, it's, these are the regular updates, right? We have, we are now in 2.5, we will release 2.6. It means there are new features and you probably need to train your users if you want to use them or update your training materials. And, and it also, we also changed that digit when we have new compatibilities with a new DHIS and version. And then the Z, the last one is for bug, bug, fi bug fixing and translation. So this should not change the feature. This should not change the user interface. You can, in theory, update uh, without any problem to the versions that have the patch, we call them patch versions that have at these ones, 2.5.2, 2.3. For those ones, you don't really need to, to train your users. They only fix problems, let's say. And we announce all these uh, releases in the community. So, and, and we keep track on Jira. So please join the community and Jira to follow up the progress of the Android app. Um, the roadmap. Where do we get the inputs for the roadmap? We get the inputs from many sources. The His groups is one of them, probably the main one, uh, but also from countries, from donors, 
from the management team and the projects that the university has. From us, the product managers, we also have uh, influence in the roadmap by analyzing the needs that we see in the ecosystem and trying to help driving our product to a successful point. And then the community of practice, which includes the academies. So I'm going to be mentioning now some aspects, uh, 10 aspects uh, or 11, that we plan to continue working for the next versions. And I will ask you at the end of this presentation to prioritize those aspects based on your needs and your projects. Performance, stability, and security is something that we always do. It's not based on, on your feedback, but still we allow you to prioritize it because we want to see if you also consider it important. There is one feature that is called task screen that we have prepared and we expect to include soon, which is like a to-do list on the screen of your user. It will be in the home screen, as you can see here. Now we have entry, data entry analytics. We will have another section that will list to the user the activities that are planned for him or for her in that day. So okay, what is a task? A task is any scheduled tracker event, is an event assigned to, to this user, or is a data set that has an expiration date in the period which is about to expire. So it's just trying to call the user attention. It, the users will be able to navigate the tasks with this calendar view when we implement it. So this is what we call task screen. Another one is a revamp in the user experience. Uh, if you think they mainly, mainly the track entity instance dashboard, we are working, we have worked in a new design, which takes the user experience one level up to the patient and is less program centric. So this is the patient, this is how you open and then here you will have the programs down here. Um, if you think this is important based on how the dashboard looks today, you can also vote for this one. Uh, we are also, this one, you don't need to vote. We are already exploring new domains for how to respond to logistics and education, but this will probably come in the second version of next year. So this one, you don't need to vote. This one is important. Uh, if you think it's important to, for us to invest time in supporting the implementer, supporting the troubleshooting, if, uh, how, to, how to help your users when they have problems. There are some things that we could do to improve um, to improve the implementation support. We, uh, we want to work on that, but we want to know if you find it um, important and if it's something that you would prioritize. Things like a centralized error log, more configuration options, facilitate the version deployment, allow for import export DB. There are many things we can do and we want to know if, if you find this uh, very important based on your experience. Another one is the multi-user support. So meaning I can be offline and I can have more than one user in the app. Currently to change the user, you need to have connection. Or there are workarounds using Android uh, users, but uh, strictly about the DHIS to Android app, it's, uh, it's not possible now to change user while you are offline because the app needs to connect to the server. So, um, if you think this is important for you, you can prioritize it. And then there are four more. Four more. Uh, one is a self-reporting app. This is an application that belongs to the patient. The patient has his or her data and they can read their own data and update their own data in a specific program. If you have a use case for which you think you need the patient, the beneficiary, to have the data on his or her device and to be able to enter data, without you being there in the visit or in the clinic, uh, you can prioritize the self-reporting app. Improved sync is a generic uh, thing like the, the sync process and all that you have been using in this academy. If you think that's a problem, uh, please let us know and prioritize the improved sync uh, activity. Biometric identification is something that is starting to be requested. It's about being able to identify your users by reading the fingerprint sometimes the face part, the, the, the hand arm or even the face, but for now it's fingerprint. If you have projects that need this, please let us know by prioritizing it. And the last one is to include notifications in the app and the message, the message service of the HIS2 so that you can send messages to your users using the, also the Android application or you get notifications in the app telling you you have an event uh, scheduled for tomorrow or another new event 
So these are notifications and missed. So these 10 things that I have explained, uh, we would like you to, to go to this link. So you can, you can either, um, I'm gonna share the link in the Slack. You can either join. I can do that if not, if you're trying to think. Yeah, or, or, uh, or read this QR code, it will take you there. So you just only need to prioritize link to prioritization voting. Oops. And I'm going to open the live results. Mm -hmm. And I want to open here. Jaime, are you, can you try it uh, on your device? We have three people, okay? Yes, I'll try. But um, can you put the QR? Oh, sorry, yes. Oops. I'm gonna take a screenshot actually of this and I will put it here. So we have seven people and we are how many in the call? We are 27. Yeah, I connected. Oh, 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 I think I have reset this. Oops. Can you please connect again if I ex if I no I, I can see it I'm waiting I have yeah, I have already the ah yeah no yeah, so I think now those that join can vote you can prioritize how can I know how many people we have. Can you let us know in the chat if you are having any problem joining? Hello, if everyone on the chat can, can let us know because I don't see anything on Slack or on, or on Zoom. If you can let us know if you're having issues. For me, I managed to connect Marta, so I, I am in. I can vote. Okay, we are getting some votings now. Okay, good, very good. Nice. You you can see this, right? The 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 results. Jaime, am I sharing the results? Yes, 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 yes. I mean, okay. sorry, I, I'm getting muted and I'm muted because I have some yeah. noise. So we have eight, eight people, but we are 29. I hope we get more. We really take into consideration this feedback. So this is the moment to tell us what to do. We have 10 people. Can I vote when I'm not allowed to vote? No. <laughs> what would you vote? Other. <laughs> Thank you for those that have uh, voted. I'm gonna wait a bit more. I don't know if the others are. Yeah, some more coming. If you don't like the results, log in and vote. <laughs> We have 12 now. Ah, let me check the Zoom chat. No, there's nothing in the Zoom. 
It's and coming, all slack. All right, it's coming in 14, 15. I'll be happy if we make uh, 20. Ah, oh, we are 30 participants now. Ah, but some, some are ourselves. Some, some is us. Yeah. Uno, dos, tres. Cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Okay, seven. So we are, we are 22. And we have 16 votes. Ah, we have to, there are some tens here, some others. Mm -hmm. Who, th those who said other, do you want to explain us while the others and uh, finish the voting? Do you want to explain us what do you need that is not in the list? I'm checking Slack. No answers. You can also unmute, I believe. If it's a secret, we cannot we cannot do it. Oh, there is a question from Abdel. Jaime, you answered. That's okay. Can we have personalized support when we want to do real and official work in the profile of our health ministry? Yes, you can. Uh, but I, th I think for a real implementation, you have to either have a team, like maybe you, Abdel, um, that, um, that learns and gives official support because everything is shared and open and you can learn and train yourself. Or you might need the support of, uh, you can also uh, hire consultants or, or, or companies to, to help you if the team, if the organization doesn't have the, the knowledge. I, I, I would not make a, a, an official production implementation for a health ministry if I cannot support it, if I don't have knowledge, only relaying on the community. I would not recommend that. You need a, a strong team officially supporting you, either your team or an external one, I would say. The community is always there to answer questions and support, and we are as productive as we can. But um, yeah, I think I answered. There, is, there needs to be a team that, that supports the implementation. Okay, we had one more, and I think, I think we're gonna leave it here. Thank you, Abdel. You can also send us a, a contact us in the community or, or in Slack in direct message if you want more orientation or better orientation. Um, so I think we are gonna leave it here. We, I don't have any, anyone explaining what is others. So we will have to guess, <laughs> but thank you very much for, for this. I mean, we have improved user interface improves in process as the top two and stability, quality, and performance as top three. That's fantastic. Then task screen and troubleshooting and support. This is a very, this is a fantastic top five, I have to say. I, I of, of course, we have other inputs to the roadmap. We cannot only take this, but, uh, but this is already uh, among our high priorities. So very good, very good to confirm that it's also important here. I hope there are other developers in the call agree with me. I would like to see the notifications a bit high, higher, I have to admit, but it's okay. So thank you very much for that. Um, and then let's, it's already one, I'm gonna very quickly uh, just tell you that we do have a community of practice and it's very active. And, and we need you in the community to contribute and to be part of that activity and that answering. So sometimes Jean Paul has to leave. Ciao, ciao. Um, you will join probably asking questions at the beginning, but then if you are not there already, most of you are there already. But then at some point you realize that you can also give answers and, and support the community. So please join us. This is the website. You, you can create an account. We hope you have it already. 
and, and see you there. Actually, we expect to see you there. Uh, documentation is also one of the communication channels we have with you and the link you have it here, docsdhis2.org. This is not only Android, you will find documentation for, for Android, for web, and for how to use it or how to configure even server, I think. Yeah, sysadmin too. So if you have a real project, as Abdel was asking, uh, we really encourage you to, to have this as a, as a tool for your work. This is just to say, and probably Pablo, if you are here and you want to correct me, um, I think the app is currently supported in seven languages, 100%. Maybe there is one, a new one, I don't know. Let me see, is pa uh, Pablo? The, this, are, this is okay. So this is now, actually, now we only have three languages in 100%. 100%, okay. So this is... This is another thing. Thank you, Pablo. Sorry. Were you saying something else? No, no. So this is another community effort. You can contribute. If you don't have, if you don't see here your language, or you need any of these that are not complete because we have just released a new version and there are probably new strings that are not translated, please join us here in Transifex. You create an account, you ask for access for a project, and then you can start translating the application. And we include translations in the patch versions, as, as I said before. And I think this is my last slide. This is a, these are a lot of um, links. Oh, I have to update this one. A lot of links that can be useful for you. These are the links to the, the code of the application and the SDK for those of you that are a bit more technical and developers, you can have a look here. Uh, this is the link to Jira where we track our tickets and issues. You can follow up the development there, a bit tricky, but you can. Here the community that we have already talked about. And then the website, I need to update this one. The website has been already revamped, uh, just redesigned and, re and and everything is new. So I don't think this um, link will work, but if you join, dhis2.org has not changed. And there you will have, a, you will easily find the link to, the link to, to the Android section. I'm going to stop sharing um, and I'm gonna stop the recording. We are finishing the academy here. So I'm gonna say bye to those uh, seeing, um, seeing the videos and I will say bye to all of you now after finishing the recording. So thank you very much. <laughs>